Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training where we want to give you the training that you need to tackle projects like this one on your own. Today's project is going to be working on replacing a flat tire on an Elux Sierra folding fat tire bike. The bike is right here in my garage. I've got it hanging um, by the ceiling here by uh, a suspension system that you can get on uh, Amazon here for like 20 bucks. As we're not just changing out a flat, we are going to be installing this product right here. Let me show you. I have it on the workbench right here. It's this product right here. So it's a uh, uh, Tannen Armaflex. And what it is, is you can see in the pictorial here how you're going to put this inside of the tire and then the inner tube goes inside of that. Now on this is supposed to prevent me from getting or anyone that puts this product in their bike from getting flats. I was on my second ride that I just I just got this bike. It's less than a week old. I was on my second ride. I was out in the dirt and I got a puncture uh, with this product right here with just a piece of wood that uh, punctured the inner tube and uh, it totally killed me and knocked me out of commission. Well, here I am trying to, and I'm in the dirt. I'm not exactly close to the road. I had to call my wife to come bail me out and, uh, and pick me up, but I still had to hump my 70 pound bike over to the road to, uh, so that she could come and get me. And let me tell you, it's uh, not exactly fun. So I'm hoping that the money invested today with these products is going to alleviate that. So I'm going to show you, show you and demonstrate all these different things on this video. I just ask, I'm going to do my best to give you the best content possible in the shortest time frame possible. I only ask one thing from you, the audience. Please click that like button right now because I need your likes to help promote this video as well. And with that, let's go on with the show. All right, I had to pull the front tire again because I forgot to check what's called tire rotation. All right, so the directional arrow is right there. So you can see that the tire with the brake rotor on this side wants to turn this way. But when you look at the e-bike itself, the rotor or the brake caliper is on this side closest to me. And if the tire is currently installed this way, it needs to be installed this way. So we need to take this tire here and we need to flip it. All right, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna pull out the uh, Schrader core. So I have a uh, Schrader wrench right here, which is the, uh, the two forks. And I should be able to put that in here turn it counterclockwise and that will pull the Schrader core out. I'll try not to lose the core. Okay, so this is what the core uh, looks like right here. And you can see here I've got the tire deflated. I'll leave the tire so we're ready to go ahead and break the bead. Here. Let me see if I can collapse that down. All right, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse and break the bead from the rim just using my hands. Then I'm going to take the sock, put it there, and try to get that in between the metal of my screwdriver and the, uh, the rim. And I'm going to work that around until I can get this out. Let's see if I got it now. I might have it. Once you, once you get it, oh, and you break that curvature, I think I might have it. And then you don't need these tools. All right, so, so at this point in time, we got it. So let's try and work the, the red 
all the way around. So now I'm just going to try to take the Tannis armor, take that. There we go. I'm going to start with the, with the stem and try to pull that back. There we go. Just pull that out. Okay. Out. Okay. Now I want to take this out. Let's see if it'll just go on its own. is we need to take and put this back inside the tire. That was the next step of this process. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in. Okay, and it crinkles up. There's gonna be a wrinkle here. So what you do is you can just grab it and you just try to stretch that out while you're pushing there. And pretty much I got it. Now I'm just going to try to center the tannis around the whole thing. Now that I got my feet wet with this project, I feel like I got some more experience at it on the second go around. All right. Alright, we're totally good there. Now, I'm going to take our tire. We're going to put the Schrader valve stem back in. And just in case you've never seen that, let me give you an... Okay, so basically, we're going to take the Schrader stem, which has the, the, the part that depresses here is going to go out. So you're just going to put that in like so. Take your... your your um, Schrader valve inset uh, uh, stem tool and just turn it and just turn it uh, clockwise you know righty tighty lefty loosey and this way you just have to seat that it doesn't have to be super super tight just kind of seat it so that it's in there we go so now that's in I'll just take put a little air pressure here in the uh, in the situation just to make sure that there's some good air pressure. Not much, just about that much. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna confirm rotation. Now I know that the tire needs to turn that way. So here's my directional arrow there. So this would be the correct way how this has to mate onto this tire is going to be in this direction. And I want to put it on this way, like this. All right. So there we go. So this is, everything is correct. Now I'm going to start with the, the bottom bead and try to get the, the bottom bead onto the rim this way here. So let's see if I can't, without any tools, just try to push that on. Hopefully, I can get that. Let's see how difficult this is. There we go. Okay, so I was able to seat the uh, the bottom bottom side. Let's flip that over for you real fast. So this is all completely seated here on the on the bottom. Okay, which is fine. Flip that back over. Next thing we want to do. So we want to get our inner tube inside of the tire and I've got my my stem cap here so I can put that um, through once I get it seated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where my stem hole is which is right back here put the inner tube in that location 
and that's going to be my starting point because I have to make sure that that lines up right there. So hang on a second, I almost had it. I'm going to put the stem cap in here so that I don't lose it. And then you can see that I've got the stem through the hole there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and feed the inner tube in around the Tannis Armor liner. The next step is to take the Tannis Armor and to put that down under the rim and just keep moving that down under the rim. Okay, now that we've got that completely seated, now I'm just going to feel with my hand to make sure that nothing is binding and that it's all laying down the, the, the right way. I'm going to do that that way. I'm going to flip the rim and I'm going to make sure, actually we're already good on this side. The, the, the tire is practically already seated itself. Okay, now we need to seat this side. Let's start on this side over here. And let's keep walking it around. There we go. See that? Now, I suspect I'm going to get to a point where this method is not going to work. And I got to go back to the sock method. But let's take it as far as we can. Okay, which is right about there. I'm going to take my sock and I'm going to put it around the screwdriver like this and I'm going to try to reach in there. Okay, I got one. Let's do that again with another part of the sock. Reach in there under the rim. Okay, I'm going to take that one out. I actually think I got it. There it is right there. Okay, so that method works without scratching the rim pretty good. And I didn't have to buy a tool or nothing. Okay, so a little bit of extra work. Just checking my seals, making sure I'm totally good. We are totally good. I've got my my stem here. I'm going to start up my air compressor and start going with some air. We're going to bring it right to 20 PSI. Okay, now we have the tire filled with air at the correct rotation. So now, while I'm holding this up, I'm just going to go ahead and cinch down on the caps, both about the same time. All right, the other side is spinning while I'm doing this, so I'm going to have to get a second wrench on the uh, back so I've got two wrenches both 15 millimeter and all right, before I go too crazy all right all that looks pretty good let's go ahead and tighten that down I think we're gonna I think we're solid okay that's that's good make sure we spin freely we do all right let's get that caliper on okay so I have the caliper here and let's go ahead and put that on the, the frame. Okay, and let me start my screws. And now I'm just gonna check the alignment to see if there's anything more I can do. I think that's it. I'm gonna cinch that up. I think I got it good. All right, totally solid. Okay, here is the completed bike with the tires on. Checking the rotation with the tires on on the ground. You can see the directional arrow. Uh, should be somewhere around here. There it is. So that's telling you that both tires have the correct orientation. Last thing to do is a test drive. All right, so I have 20 PSI in the tires. I'm going to try that. I'm trying the brakes, the front, the rear, make sure everything's okay. The front brakes are a little grabby. The rears are fine, but the fronts 
I don't know if I got dirt in there or what. I should have looked at the pads when I had it apart. I don't know if that'll just wear its way, way through the pad, but it's just a little grabby on the fronts. As far as the tire job that we did, the tires feel pretty good. I mean, great. I mean, I, I can't even tell that there's inserts in there or anything. The, the ride quality seems fine for this small little test drive. I'm going to take it out for a real good test drive right now and really run it through the paces out into the, uh, to the back woods there. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you had, please make sure you give that a thumbs up. I need that. Subscribe to my channel, Ken Training, and I will catch you on the flip side.